Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, I am. My, this video now is going to be my predictions for tomorrow night's Oscar ceremony. But before I get started, I just want to let you know uh, my laptop computer currently is infected with a virus tonight, right now. So I'm going to be using my father's computer downstairs until further notice. That is until we can get that virus fixed, just so you remember. But, anyways. I'm not going to give some of my Oscar predictions. There are 24 categories this year, but there's some I'm going to leave out, which means there are free for best makeup, which I'm not going to make predictions of that. So let's get some other categories. For prediction, my prediction of who I'll, I'm, what film I'd want to win for best costume design, the, the heavy favorite for costume design is, is definitely Colleen Atwood. Atwood's costumes design for Alice in Wonderland, because because Atwood has won in that category before, both in 2002 for Chicago and 2006 for Memoirs of a Geisha. Just so you know, so so yeah, so Colleen Atwood's the big heavy favorite. I will, best animated short definitely should go to Day and Night because that's the short that preceded Toy Story 3 in theaters. And speaking of Toy Story 3, it's heavily favored to win the best animated short, animated fi feature film ca ca category too. That's that, and that's who I'm going to pick. Heck, but so yeah, indeed. And documentary awards I'm going to leave out. Out and. Best film editing is tough, but uh, so I'm not gonna k give a clear, ch make a real pick for film editing. Though it could most likely be be between between the Social Network and and the King's Speech. Cinematography, my my mom definitely wants True Grit to win win for cinematography, so I will pick that that film. Art direction, mom says did say mom was clearly thinking that if Inception was nominated, it could win. So. I think Inception will most likely be the choice for Art Direction, though Alice in Wonderland is nominated for that, too, because if that wins, that's okay. Visual effects, I'm not going to give a pick for that, unfortunately, so that's out. Let's see, best best original screenplay? Uh, it's going to be tough, but I think... So, I'm not going to give a pick for that, but for adapted screenplay, it's... Most likely, my pick will be Toy Story 3, though it probably might not win. This is just what my pick is. Best Original Score, I'm going to pick The Social Network for that, because that won the Golden Globe for score. And it could win the Oscar. Now, Best Original Song. There are four nominations. We know there's one that's not, that definitely is an underdog, so I don't think it's going to win. That's Coming Home from Country Song. So, that, and so I have three favorites for that, because the... The picks that I want to win for Best Original Song are are either I See the Light from Tangled, If I Rise from 127 Hours, or We Belong Together from Toy Story 3. So, yeah. The Sound Awards I'm going to leave out, because out, I'm not going to get picks for those two. Now moving on to the Acting Awards. Awards with first with best supporting actor the heavy favorite as I said is Christian Bale so that's who I'm gonna pick. Same for that's for the role in the fighter. Same case in, for best act supporting actress with Melissa Leo being a heavy favorite to win so I'm picking that although of course Amy Adams is also nominated and so for for that for for her role in the same film of course also Helena Bottom Carver for the King's Speech and. And Haley Stanfield for True Grit. And for Best Actor in a Leading Role, the big heavy favorite here is Colin Firth for The King's Speech, though. Though the though the four the three others include Jeff Bridges for True Grit, Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network, and of course James Franco for 127 Hours, which Franco was also co-hosting this Oscar, tomorrow night's Oscar ceremony along with Anne Hathaway. Finally. And finally, for best best actress in a leading role, the big heavy favorite is Natalie Portman for Black Swan. So, so that's who our pick, though. Though Annette Bening, Bening's role in The Kids Are All Right is also so big competitor too. Though it's more likely going to go to Portman in this case. Hey, but. 
But of course, anyways. And for best director, it most likely will go to the director of the social network. I don't remember his name. I can't remember his name, but I think he might be. Because he won the Golden Globe and he could be favored to win the Oscar. Oscar as well. So, that's who I'm, that's what my pick is. And of course, finally, best picture that of ten nominees here. Many people think it's most likely going to be between both... Yeah, between The King's Speech and The Social Network, and some people said that The King's Speech might win. Others might think Social Network might win. Of course, Inception and Toy S True Grit and Toy Story 3 are also up in the running. I think so. So, I'm not going to get... So, this, so, I have it between five films, but I can't make a definitive pick for Best Picture. But anyways, that's all the Oscar picks I have for now. I know, it's not really a spoiler, these are just my predictions. I'll have to watch the actual ceremony just to see tomorrow night, night just see who win, who wins the Oscars, so. Oh, I'm definitely looking forward to tomorrow night's ceremony. Only, so, I'll look forward to watching it, so. I'm sure you will all watch it too. Okay, there you go, so, there you go. Well, I'll see you all again soon for the next video, but until then, bye for now.